Hey everyone, okay, so today we are gonna be talking about Makeup Forever HD Powder. Now this is the pro size. Now, over a decade ago this product was released and it was one of the first powders at the time to be like nothing, like air. But it came with a problem and that was this incredible flashback issue where it looks like the powder is just all over the face. At the time, we were seeing it all over the place on celebrities and Makeup Forever at the time basically said, it's not my product that did this. And I did an experiment back in the day and showed that it really was that product that was causing the issues. But we're a decade later, so let's see if it's still an issue because there may have been some reformulation issues. I don't think there has been. I'm gonna divide my face into two. One side, I'm gonna do a heavy application. Other side, a light sweeping. Now. Even if this turns out to be a pile of shite and it still is bad, Makeup Forever is still a wonderful company in terms of the amount of products it releases. All of their products, minus this one, I have adored. So I just wanna put that out there. So I'm gonna do a relatively light application. I'm just gonna swirl a brush and I'm just gonna give it a little dusting, okay? So that is the dusting. Just finish that off, shall we? Now, what feels good about this product is that it feels like nothing. However, it's one of the few, one of the most problematic powders when it comes to dry skin. It hates dry skin. Now, a lot of powders hate dry skin. This one hates it the most. Now, we're gonna do a heavier application. So we're gonna go in with that whole, ooh, Instagram bake. And we'll bake here and here. And let's just bake there as well, let's have a little bit more. There we go. So, oh, it goes everywhere, there's stuff. Now I'm gonna knock it off. And on my face before this was just a light application of a tinted moisturizer. That is it. Okay, so all of that is gone. Now I need to get my phone because I bloody well forgot it. <laughs> Okie dokie, pig and a pokey. So, let's take a picture of myself. How do I do this? Oh, okay. Make sure there's nothing else. Let's just really knock everything off. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of this side of my face first. Can't see, oh, look at that face. Gorge, with the flash. That's, okay, with the flash, please. Right, so with the flash. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so that's the side of my face without the powder on, uh, with a very light application. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just gonna zoom in. Can you see the white on the other side? Just there above the eyebrow. Okay, so let's take a picture of this, uh, the heavy side of my face. God, I can't work out these. Not, I'm not one of these people that take selfies all day long of myself. I can't work out how to do it. How do I do it? Oh, what is wrong with me? I'm not the brightest. How do I do this? There we go, that's how you do it, silly boy. Right, is that, is that even me? There is me. Take a picture. Okay, so. That's the beard area. You can see the white um, above the cheekbone area. I don't know if you can see that. Let me take another one just in case, because um, I'm a bit, I'm absolutely hopeless with a phone. Not a fan of this whole selfie generation. Oh, I just pushed the button to turn it off. Not a smart boy. Gossy, am I not a smart boy? Okay, let's have a look. There you go, so you can see it here, it is, you can see it in the eyebrow, you can see it underneath the eye, and you can see it right there at the um, beard line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz the heavy side of my face with a setting spray, and really kind of go for it just to see if that mitigates any of the problematic issues that we're facing with this product. So we'll let that just kind of sink in. 
and then we'll try and take another picture and see where we go from it. So let's have a look. And no, it didn't make any difference. The product is still there. You can still see it in the eyebrow. Come on, focus. You can still see it in the eyebrow. You can still see it in the beard line. What an absolute pisser. Now, here we are a decade later, it's still problematic. Now, to give Makeup Forever its due, Makeup Forever never stated once that this product was for photography. On my skin now, it looks like I have no powder on. That's why I love it. They never said it was photography, they said it was for film. And it did work and does work incredibly well for that. But if you are wanting to take selfies and all that kind of stuff, it's really not a good idea with this powder. But they make amazing products because Makeup Forever HD concealers, these are amazing. You get like seven mils of product in there, so it's a really good amount. They are incredible. They are absolutely incredible. But this, sadly, is a problem if you're gonna take pictures. But I love the size of this, 110 grams. So what I do is I take this out, put it in a little bag, pop it somewhere else, because I will use it, and then I fill this up with RCMA, and that causes no problems. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.